Extreme Weather Center. Our own Rick Reichmuth, our chief meteorologist, is there. Rick, some changes here. Couple changes. That westward kind of leaning certainly kind of continues. One thing, there is now a storm surge watch. It's a new thing that's being issued by the Hurricane Center. Uh, storm surge watches and warnings. But the watch now. This isn't that graphic, by the way. I'm just giving you this information. It goes all the way up into Tampa. Tampa is a city that is really prone to storm surge. If this storm tracks farther to the west, uh, there's thinking that it could maybe be right here, uh, kind of offshore and interacting. That could put a lot of water into all of these bays here. Uh, that are really susceptible to that. So Naples, certainly one of those places. If there would be any good thing, Shepard, that would be possibly put the worst of the storm surge here around the Everglades, which could absorb a little bit of it. Uh, and there's not a ton of population, right, at least in that very spot. That said, hurricane warnings everywhere you see the red. Hurricane watches everywhere now extending up just towards Daytona Beach. We will see hurricane force winds uh, throughout the entire peninsula. Want to show you this, a Cat 4 storm uh, still looking well organized. They're about to fly into it again to get more information, see if they can me what they measure as far as the central pressure. Winds are at 155. That's cat four. If it gets to 156, that's cat five. So we're right on that edge. Uh, we've been seeing some rain bands begin to get closer and closer, uh, but none just at the point. One thing I want to show you, Shep, so maybe it has a little bit of an interaction here with land if that does happen in Cuba. Bad news for Cuba, but would uh, weaken the storm out just a little bit. Uh, let me go back here because I didn't put a stop in my graphic there. Uh, it, now it is forecast at some point uh, to be a Cat 5 again, at least the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Not saying that that will happen, but a Cat 5 potentially right there on the shore when it, there you go, Cat 5. That's 2 a.m. Sunday morning barreling down here uh, on the Keys before it moves up possibly towards the west side. And you said it, then afterwards goes up in towards parts of the southeast. A visible satellite image still continues to be amazing. This storm being this strong for this long, Shep, is something that we've never seen anywhere across the globe in the satellite era. Uh, and usually these strong storms we see in the Pacific Ocean impacting places like the Philippines and such, those super typhoons. Seeing this here right on our shores is certainly frightening. But Florida under the gun. It is a daytime storm. That's one little bit of good news. When these storms happen at nighttime, it's a very scary thing uh, for those who stayed, which hopefully most people did not. But if you're there and it's happening in the daytime, that certainly would probably feel a little bit better as you're dealing with it. Talking to folks down in the Keys earlier, a lot of hardy folks in the Keys never yeah. leave for these storms. And if you consider right now, they're saying somewhere between Key West and Marathon, they, they just don't know for sure. But 155 miles an hour on this overseas highway, all the way up Duck Key. The whole way up through through the Keys, all the way to Key Largo, it's hard to imagine what would happen to that overseas, overseas highway and the, the entire economy that's so marine based for all of the Keys and tens of thousands of people living down there. Rick, it's it's quite frightening. It's really frightening, and you're you're right that we don't know. Uh, we know that it's going to make this right hand turn. Everything is based off of that. We also did not think it would be moving due west, which it is now. So if that continues. That due west motion that would potentially make that hard right turn maybe a little bit harder to make that turn, and that's why the models have been pushing a little bit farther and farther uh, off towards the west. I will tell you that our two biggest models that we like are in pretty good agreement, maybe about 20 miles or so apart. Uh, that's good agreement unless you're on one side or the other of that 20 miles. All right, Rick Reichmuth in the Extreme Weather Center. Rick, thanks very much.